Hurricane Idalia brought record high storm surge that flooded much of the island. Idalia turned what used to be a haven for artists into a flooded wreck. Cedar Key, Florida is named after the trees that once covered the islands. It's located about four miles out in the Gulf of Mexico and is connected by a single road that goes over four small low bridges. Its isolation is really part of its appeal, which is 800 full-time residents. The island town builds itself as a haven for artists, writers, adventure tourists, who find the unspoiled environment really part of their appeal and inspiration. Today, it is no haven. The island, known for its serene beauty and vibrant local culture, found itself facing a nightmare of unparalleled proportions. Residents had braced for impact, but the sheer force of the storm left even the most seasoned islanders stunned. Cedar Key Island, though accustomed to weathering tropical storms, had rarely experienced a hurricane of this magnitude. Idalia's ferocious winds, reaching speeds of up to 125 miles per hour, tore through the island's infrastructure, uprooting trees, snapping power lines, and shredding buildings apart. The coastal flooding that accompanied the storm surge inundated low-lying areas, leaving homes and businesses submerged. The island's vital tourism industry, which relied heavily on its idyllic coastal charm, suffered a severe blow. Iconic landmarks were marred or completely destroyed, leaving the community facing a daunting path to recovery. While material damage was undeniable, the true extent of the tragedy lay in the emotional toll on Cedar Key's residents. Families were displaced from their homes, businesses that had been cherished for generations were reduced to ruins, and the close-knit community found itself grappling with grief and uncertainty. However, amidst the devastation, stories of resilience and solidarity emerged. Neighbors banded together to support one another, offering shelter, supplies, and a comforting presence. First responders worked tirelessly to rescue those trapped by floodwaters and to provide critical medical assistance. The collective spirit of the islanders shone as a beacon of hope amid the darkness. So I'm here on historic Dock Street. You can see the damage. They had a storm surge of about six to seven feet. The water just came in like a wall of water. As soon as it receded, we receded quickly and they could assess the damage and you can see that the structures are still good. They just received a lot of damage from the flooding. Um, all this can be fixed. You can see behind me, we have Duncan's on the Gulf, owned by Laura Duncan, um, a lot of damage, but it all can be fixed. And they're already doing a lot of the repairs right now on this down the road. Okay, all right. All right, H hand him over. <laughs> Wow. Well, here in the 352, you know what time it is. Hurricane Hadelia. We're here live by Boss Dennis. That's incredible. It's, a, it's amazing, eye watering. I can't believe it. Yeah. It's going to take many months, but hopefully they'll be back up on their feet. Another main concern here is that. Cedar Key is known for his agriculture farms, clams and oysters, and we're just hoping that they did not get con contaminated by the hurricane. Yeah, we need work gloves. We need people. We need we need physical labor. That's really what we need the most. Is uh, as soon as it's opened up, people to come and, um, and contribute and help out. Through collective efforts and a shared commitment to creating a more resilient future the island community stands poised to rebuild Dock Street as a testament to its enduring spirit and strength in the face of adversity.